Hi, I'm Blake Anderson, and this work was done by myself and David McGrew in the Advanced Security Research Group at Cisco. Our KDD paper presents why encrypted malware traffic classification is challenging and what steps data scientists can take to create more effective models. We began this process by collecting and analyzing millions of TLS connections from two enterprise networks in a malware sandbox service. We noticed that malware's usage of TLS was beginning to approach the TLS usage seen in the general case. We specifically looked at TLS due to its prominent role on the network. For a given endpoint, many of the TLS connections are a direct result of the user performing common tasks such as browsing. System level programs also use TLS for tasks such as downloading updates. When presented with a new TLS connection where all of the application data is encrypted, we are interested in being able to classify the connection as either benign or in the case that it was initiated by malware as malicious. The first problem we ran into was obtaining ground truth for the TLS connections. For the enterprise networks, most of the TLS connections were to popular websites with trusted certificates and were most likely benign. But we still observed TLS connections to servers with suspicious IP addresses or certificates. For the data collected from the malware sandbox, most of the TLS connections were to known bad IP addresses and were most likely malicious. But if a malware sample uses a browser to communicate, the browser will often initiate independent TLS connections. As an example, Chrome will reach out to Google when it is launched. The second problem we faced was the non-stationarity of the data. Each release of an application, TLS library, or protocol standard can have a significant impact on the data we observe and can potentially lead to abrupt change points in the underlying model. As an example of the frequency of these releases, there were 22 major releases for Firefox, Chrome, and Safari over the past year, and these three applications represent a small subset of the total number of applications that use TLS. While performing our experiments, we found that incorporating more descriptive, expert-generated data features made all of the classifiers that we tested significantly more robust to class label noise and non-stationarity in the data generating process. In the paper, we highlighted two particularly important feature sets. The individual packet links and inter-arrival times allows us to understand the application's behavior, and the TLS metadata allows us to infer the identity of the application or TLS library. Combining this information allowed the classifiers to more robustly identify malicious TLS connections. Thank you, and please send us an email if you have any questions.